In this video, we are going to discuss about derivatives of algebraic functions using formulas. We are referencing Calculus with Analytic Geometry by Thurman Peterson, created by Sir R Squared. Ang pangunahing layunin ng video ito ay maturuan ang mga mag-aaral kung paano makapag-solve ng derivative gamit ang formulas for derivative of algebraic functions. At ang kahihinatnan ay matututunan ng mga mag-aaral na mag-solve ng derivative gamit ang derivative formulas patungkol sa iba't ibang uri ng functions. Disclaimer Ang video ito ay ginawa ng may akda upang magamit sa pagtuturo ng matematika at maging sandigan na mag-aaral sa kanilang pag-aaral ng kalkulus. Ang video ito ay maaaring may download ng walang bayad or for free sa www.youtube.com Ano man pong maling paggamit sa video ito maliban sa nasa saad sa taas, ay hindi po responsibilidad ng may akda. This video is not regulated by the institution. Any flows in this video is at author's imperfection. Formulas for differentiation Number 1, the derivative of the constant is equal to 0, wherein c is any constant. Number 2, the derivative of x is equal to 1. Number 3, the derivative of a constant times x is equal to the constant. Number 4, the derivative of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. Number 5, the derivative of f of x raised to n is equal to n times the quantity f of x close quantity raised to n minus 1. f prime of x. Number 6. The derivative of f of x plus g of x is equal to the derivative of f of x plus the derivative of g of x. Number 7. The derivative of f of x minus g of x is equal to the derivative of f of x minus the derivative of g of x. Number 8. The derivative of of f of x multiplied by g of x is equal to f of x times the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. Ito po yung sinasabi natin na inside derivative of the outside plus the outside derivative of the inside. I will uh, illustrate this when we have problem examples. Number 9, the derivative of f of x over g of x is equal to g of x, the derivative of f of x, minus f of x, the derivative of g of x over g of x squared. Ito po naman yung sinasabi natin na denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. I will illustrate this when we are in the problem solving examples. Now, number 10. The derivative of f dot g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times the quantity g prime of x. Ito po yung tinatawag na chain rule. I will be giving a lot of examples on this chain rule kasi gamit na gamit po ito. Itong chain rule, quotient rule, product rule, at saka yung mga general power rule, gamit na gamit po yan. So, these are the different differentiation formulas for algebraic functions. We have this first example. Find the derivative of f of x is equal to 15x to the 100 minus 3x to the 12 plus 5x minus 46. What we are going to use here is a combination of multiplication, addition, subtraction, power, and constant. Ito po kasi derivative of a constant. Ito po kasi power, tapos meron tayong subtraction and addition. So, let us try to 
to do that. So, f prime of x is equal to, ito pong una ay uh, power rule natin, x to the n is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. Yan pong gagamitin natin sa una at saka dun sa pangalawa. Therefore, we have 15 times 100 x raised to 99 minus this will be 3 times 12 x to the 11th and then we have plus 5. This one is the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Pakita na rin natin yung uh, 0. So we have to simplify f prime of x is equal to 1,500x to the 99th minus 36x to the 11 plus 5. So this will be our answer. We have this second example. Find the derivative of g of t is equal to 2t to the 6 plus 7t raised to the negative 6. So what we're going to use here is addition and power rule we have the solution. But before I proceed with the solution, kapag nga daw po pala ang given ay f of x, kailangan ang sasabihin mo sa derivative niya is f prime of x. Kapag ka po ang given ay y, dapat po dy over dx. Meron po kasi uh, mga iba raw po ang nangyayari, mga estudyante, given ay f of x, pagkatapos sinasabi niya rito dy over dx bagamat pareho po ng ibig sabihin siya po ay derivative kaya lang sabi po sa atin ng book by convention kapag f of x ang given dapat f prime of x ang atin ilalagay so yun po ang tagubili ng ating uh, book sa annexes niya no? we're going to have g prime of t kasi ito g of t ang given is equal to 2 times 6 times t, 6 minus 1 will be to the pip, plus this one will be 7 times negative 6 t, negative 6 minus 1 will be negative 7 minus 7. Simplifying further, g prime of t is equal to 12 t to the pip minus 42 t to the negative 7. Or if we want to rewrite it, we can have g prime of t is equal to 12 t to the pip minus 42 over t to the 7. We have example number 3. Find the derivative of y is equal to 8x cubed minus 1 over 3x to the pip plus x minus 23. What we're going to use here is a combination of addition, subtraction, power, constant, and some algebraic manipulation. So let us try to uh, do that here. But before uh, we proceed to dy dx, let us try to have an algebraic manipulation here first. So we will have y is equal to 8x cubed. We can rewrite this as uh, 1 over 3 x to the negative 5. And then plus x minus 23. So let us try to have the derivative now. The derivative of uh, y with respect to x is equal to, recta na natin, ano? hindi na po natin uh, gagawin yung 8 times 3 tapos x uh, raised to 2 kasi sinasanay na po kayo. Balang araw, hindi nyo na rin po gagawin yun. This will be 24 x squared. Tapos ito po ay uh, minus then minus 5. That will be plus 5 over 3. And then, negative 5 minus 1 will be negative 6 plus 1. Ito po, 0 na to, minus 0. So, therefore, what we have is 
dy dx or the derivative of y over x is equal to 24x squared plus 5 over 3 x to the negative 6 plus 1. So, ito po yung ating magiging final answer. We have example number 4. Find the derivative of t of x is equal to square root of x plus 9 times the cube root of x to the 7th minus 2 over the p root of x squared. So, what we're going to do here is to have uh, the combination of addition, subtraction, algebraic manipulation. I-manipulate po muna natin bago natin i-apply yung derivative. t of x is equal to, yung square root of x po, square root of x can be written as x to the 1 half. Kung gusto nyo pong ma-review tungkol dyan, meron po tayong in-upload. Kung matatandaan ninyo, doon po sa YouTube channel ko, meron po ako doon exponents, radicals, and logarithms. Now, we can have this as x to the 1 half plus 9 times uh, cube root of x to the 7 can be written as x to the 7 over 3. So, x to the 7 over 3 minus 2 over uh, the pip root of x squared can be written as x to the 2 over 5. So, we can have here x to the to pips. Yan. Ngayon, uh, para ma-manipulate pa natin further, pwede po natin itong isulat na 2 times x to the negative 2 over 5. Naayos na po natin yung algebraic manipulation. We are now ready to get the derivatives. t prime of x is equal to 1 half x so, 1 half minus 1, eh, di negative 1 half po tayo. Then, uh, plus uh, 9 times 7, 63 over 3, x ngayon, yung 7 over 3 naman. 7 over 3 minus 1, eh, di 3 yung denominator, 7. Tapos, uh, this will be 7 minus 3. That will be equal to 4 over 3. This will be equal to 4 over 3 minus. This will be negative 2 pips. E minus yon, e di plus na po ito. 4 over 5 x to the, o yan naman, negative 2 over 5 minus 1. E di 5 po, negative 2. Tapos, uh, minus uh, 5 is equal to negative 7 over 5. Negative 7 over 5. There you have it. Basically, uh, ito na po yung magiging uh, sagot natin. Ang tips ko lamang po sa inyo bago kayo kumuha ng derivative ay ayusin po muna natin yung algebraic manipulation para pangalawang line mo tapos na po kagad yung ating uh, problem. Burahin na po natin itong mga to para malinis-linis. If you want to have a review on the exponents, radicals, and logarithms, kaya nga po talagang isinama ko po yun sa review of fundamentals dahil alam kong gagamitin po natin yun dito ng napakaraming beses. No? We move on to another problem. We have problem number 5. We are asked to find the, for the derivative of h of x is equal to x raised to pi minus x raised to the square root of 2. So basically, what we have here is uh, subtraction and power. Yun lamang po ang involved dito, no? Subtraction and power. Now, uh, if you will notice pi is just a constant. That is 3.14, 15, 69, something like that. And the square root of 2 is also a constant. This just looks so difficult, but is, this is very easy because if that is a constant, wala na po tayong algebraic manipulation na magagawa dyan, ano? So, let us have 
h prime of x is equal to pi times x raised to pi minus 1. O, so, ganyan lang po yan. Ano? Minus, bababa yung square root of 2, x raised to square root of 2 minus 1. So, pi minus 1 can be computed in the calculator. Square root of 2 minus 1 can also be computed in the calculator. Therefore, this is our final answer. That is the derivative. We are going to terminate at this point for ease of uploading and we will be back with more examples on the derivatives of algebraic functions in the next video. At sa wakas ng lahat ng bagay, tayo po'y magpasalamat sa Panginoon Diyos sa pagbibigay sa atin ng lakas at buhay upang mapag-aralan at matutunan ang mga bagay nito. Ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat na nagahari noon ngayon at magpakailanman. Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. To God be the glory.